It has been nearly a month since a string of deadly shootings shook Nashville. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall looks at how a friend of one of the victims passionately hopes for answers and justice for all the families. Emily, police say the three people shot and killed in cold blood were simply minding their business before these attacks happened. And although we do not know the motive, we do know the community continues to mourn. Edward Leach, like many in Nashville, is fed up of the gun violence in his city. And anybody who keeps doing such a thing, we're going to send them to the mountains where no one can find them again. It has been almost a month since a string of shootings left three people dead and paralyzed a woman, and police have not released any updates in the investigations they believe are connected. You have to be careful about coming out with information if it's not solid. Leach knew Kendall Rice, one of the victims, through church. Kendall was kind of quiet and stuff. He'll look at you and smile, wouldn't say a lot of things. So I kind of approached him myself. And what I like about him is that when I started talking to him, I had been living in Vermont for 25 years. He kind of gave me the scoop about what's going on. That's how we kind of connect. Rice was gunned down during an apparent robbery while walking to a bus stop for work in Madison. But when someone shoots someone that you do know, it really shocked me. Three days later, two men shot and killed Brandon Teal and Jamey Sarantonio outside of the Cobra Nashville in East Nashville. The two wanted to get snacks at a convenience store with friends when the two suspects robbed them. If people think they're going to come to Nashville and randomly shoot people and rob them and kill them, they're going to have another thing going. Police would eventually talk to these two men, 24-year-old LaCory Lytle and 20-year-old Demontre Logsdon as persons of interest in these murders. They remain behind bars but have not been charged with murder. In Nashville, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5. According to the Davidson County Sheriff's Office website, both men are waiting on their first court appearance.